To say the truth is out is the least of it. Let's get into this weekly update and see what I see coming through for the karmic third party. Welcome back to Yulda's Readings 5D. Yes, we do have this content out ahead of the crowd if you do want such. And we do cover the coaching and energy updates within the membership, Super Chats Weekly, as well as the Joint Connection. So if you haven't seen the Masculine and Feminine, go through and have a look at the weekly edition. Without further ado, let's have a chat about what I see coming through for the end of this month. Now, uh, there's a few storylines going on here. And, you know, I, I really do feel with the Nine of Hearts, this is a big conversation. This is, this can be clashing relating to the value systems. If this is a romantic connection, um, there could be something to do with travel. It could be a disagreement to do with what's going to happen at New Year's Eve, um, where the direction of the connection is going. This can be with a family. Um, but definitely, you know, Sometimes we can feel judged. Sometimes we need to make a judgment call where it does come to the heart. Uh, I also feel for some this can be a subject to do with divorce. You know, the ninth house can be um, divorce and litigation and disputes. Um, it also can be hermit mode energy, but something that was hidden is going to come to the forefront. So these heart-related energies can be quite emotional in nature. You know, they're... it's like where they felt it was going to evolve to and what they want for themselves is all, it's the whole cup. I feel that a chapter this was so. I feel there has been a conversation. This may have been in relation to the joint connection with the twin flame path. This person could have expressed how they feel to do with their life and it has inadvertently affected the karmic third party. Now, lots has changed and, you know, I think spiritually all of us can look back and realise from May and the beginning of this year, everything is very different it's like I see this person reflecting out into the into the abyss and realising, you know, how much has changed, how shocking some of these things are. They're concerned about the world. They're concerned about their well-being and safety. They are growing empathy, but they also felt that this connection was going to stand the test of time. They also do feel spiritually there is somebody out there for them. They are looking at the cycle of where they stand within the joint connection and wondering if it is even something that they feel that they can, you know, evolve with. Some of them are having differences in value systems. Uh, there has been interference and issues with tribe. I also feel schedule has been a huge issue. Some have had an energy pass over. This has added extra stress. This person's having issues sleeping. A lot of unresolved situations are coming up that are causing conflict. Um, they felt if they put the energy of divine feminine and masculine to the back of their mind, it would go. And it almost feels like it haunts them. Some of them have come across a letter that was written. This could have been an email, a text message, but I'm, I'm seeing a physical letter for some. 
I do feel the individual they were involved with in some shape or form has mentioned how much they love the other individual. And I feel this has actually thrown their axis off kilter. I feel they realise that this is something they're going to have to move into accepting. I feel somehow this has been a shock. This also can relate to those that are already in separation, hearing gossip through the grapevine. The dreams that they once held for themselves and how it's eventuated, trying to move into acceptance, but really, um, you know, a lot of fear, a lot of frustration, a lot of confusion, and, and like Gaia and everything is saying, let go. But the emotion somehow is entwined and it's almost like now they feel that they're in a prison to a degree. They do feel very delusional that they had had a dream and um, it didn't come to pass. This could cause anger where they want to run and where angels fair to trap, but I definitely feel especially those that are already in the connection. This is a conversation going down. This is a person saying, look, I'm on the wrong path. I can't be with you. <clears throat> I feel the real danger here is this person may not think. This person also, whomever they were dealing with, is no longer thinking about them, is no longer allowing sadness. You know, literally, literally three cards in reverse. Um, you know, the getting run down and feeling tired and ill in reverse. And it is to do with an energy that was seeing them, feeling in despair mentally, overthinking things. This person has just cold turkey, you know, dropped, dropped it and put them really into the friendship basket. And I feel they've said for a long time that's how they felt. And that they just can't give anything more than that and that they shouldn't be surprised because this is something that had been discussed. This is a very interesting read. Okay, let's find out how they're going to react to this. What does the collective need to know? Okay, there's a dispute over wealth, over values. Okay, any messages for the Divine Feminine in relationship to this, please? Um, yeah, if, uh, you might feel strange. This could feel very strange to you because I do feel you wouldn't expect it. So for some of you, you know, you may think, oh, if I heard that, you know, I'd be over the moon. But I think it's so shocking that you're just stepping back. Like you're just like kind of, you're going to be in awe when this information comes through. You're retracting this in not because you manipulated, but because you have spiritually done the work, because you are aware that life has its good and its bad. Your true commitment to yourself and your growth has been what is attracting your blessings in. Okay, what is the masculine in the context of this need to know? Yeah, this can be a divorce for some. This can be being aware of the fact that this person was impacting um the connection but also this person is aiming to prevent the reconciliation and to take their power away okay how will they react to that please yeah blocking the person walking away commitment over could get a bit ugly this is, again, a test for all to hold their ground, to do what they need to do, but to be in their spiritual truth. Good luck. I will see you on the other side. I'd love to hear your feedback of how this is playing out and any juicy gossip you've got coming through the grapevine. Share it with the collective and give us a heads up. I'll see you soon for the joint connection. Take care, beautifuls.